My beautiful wife Steph and I have brought you guys out on another beach in South Carolina to walk around and just see if we can find any shark tooth or interesting seashells to share with you guys. Let you hear some of the soothing sounds of the beach waves and just enjoy this beautiful day with us. really nice out here beautiful and plenty of people enjoying this beach day down through here and Edisto Beach is a barrier island here on the coast of South Carolina that is full of houses for rent You guys are looking for a great big beach to come to, you know, to rent a house. Check out Edisto Beach. This north side right here. There's not a lot of houses here because this is actually a campground area. And that's where most of the people that are on this side of the beach are going to be from. There is some public parking, parking right up here by the pavilion that's free. In this area, like you said, it is the campground. This is Edisto Beach State Park. And we are on Edisto Island, which is part of Colleton County in South Carolina. So I see a pretty shark eye there. Oh, I can tell from picking it up though. Well, well, back side of it is broken. Several big oysters there. A big arc shell. like that this right here is the last rock jetty that i see and if you look right up here uh, you can see the results of it not having any more jetties a lot more of the sand down this way has eroded out i see the steep bank up here You guys that follow along with the shelling a lot you've probably seen these pretty often you know what it is it's the skeleton out of a whelk shell it's only a part of it though hey buddy someone has dug a hole right here and that water is just seeping right up out of the ground kind of cool you can see all the shells that's beneath the surface of the sand out here on that stuff go up here to the top of the beach the sand boom there the high tide line to get rid of my tennis shoes huh? yep wanted to come down here and walk in the edge of the water so you guys could hear these beautiful beach waves give you a little closer up look at them also
and the offshore seas look very calm today looks like one footers out here offshore great day to be offshore fishing you know me i'm always thinking about fishing <laughs> Come on, stuff. We're really not seeing a lot of interesting things, just bits and pieces of broken shells. A few random oyster shells, random arc shells. I haven't even spotted the first shark's tooth yet. U.S. Coast Guard flying over, checking everything out. Yeah, we're seeing tons of the turtle nests up there on the beach. So these are some of the areas where they mark the, where the turtles have laid their eggs and some of the wire mesh that you see above the nesting areas that is to keep predators from digging up the eggs whether it be birds snakes well a snake could probably get in it but raccoons just different things like that trying to detour them How's that water feel on your toes, Steph? It feels great. It's <laughs> hot out here. I don't know if you can see me sweating yet, but it's hot out here and this water is cool. I think it's in like the 80s, right? The water temperature is in the 80s right now, which so, is kind of hot, but it feels better than the temperature out here. Yeah, most days um, we're in the low to mid 90s here in South Carolina right now. Now, whoever this guy is, he's doing what I would be doing. Doing a little surf fishing, right? Yeah. I wonder if he's catching anything. Well, not at the moment, for sure. Maybe we'll see him on the way back by, run out here and grab this reel that's bent over. I hope so. The shell right is further up there, but that's how I'm going. You don't want to walk right up here? Hot to walk up there right now. Your feet can't be that hot now. And plus it's moist up there. Well, I was just walking up there. Well, I think they come along to see us uh, show some shells. So maybe they're just enjoying the beach walk with us. Look here.
the pelicans flying over at it stuff especially down where the houses are and stuff if you ever rent a house here i'm sure you would admire those pelicans when the air is coming off the ocean it hits those houses and it creates a vertical lift and those pelicans will just be flying down the beach right hovering right over those houses i always enjoy watching them new stuff yeah that is a really cool feature Lots of broken stuff. We're going to have to move on down the beach a little further and see if we can find something a little better. Looks like Steph has made a friend, someone to talk to. I'm sure he's a collector also. As I was walking along, I spoke with this gentleman and he was telling me yesterday that he walked up and down this little line right here. And he's got some nice finds. He has agreed to let us uh, show them to you guys. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So, a couple really nice ones right there. So, pretty, pretty. Could I dump them in my hand? <laughs> <laughs> Are you just wanting I'll, to look at them? I won't put them in my pocket. Oh, that, uh, uh, one fell in your shoe right there too, yeah, by your right. toe. Well, I was just wanting them to get a close-up look yeah. at them. I promise you I won't <laughs> stick it in my pocket. Yeah, there's a couple and then some of the longer ones. Yeah, that bag this probably is, has a glare on it a little bit a in the light. It's always a family uh, favorite. Or uh, family. Uh, oh, man. Nice, nice. There's a nice big one right there, too. Yeah, you found some beautiful ones. Do you know all the difference in the sharks too? I did, but I forgot. <laughs> yeah, right. you kind of like we me. We did this as a child all the time, and I am this the first time I've done this in 15 years. It's fun though, isn't it? Oh yeah. Keep something to keep you occupied while you're enjoying exactly. the beach for the day. Thank you for sharing. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Thank you. I hope you find lots more. Thank you. So those will be pretty cool. We we hope to find one, but we haven't spotted even one yet today. Yeah. Oliver said he's got him looking now, though. He might can find something. We had a pretty decent storm come through this area last night, so the rain should have helped some of the sand fall away. So when you're walking on the beach, guys, looking for seashells, it's kind of like a treasure hunt, right? You never know what you're going to find. But it's the hunt that keeps you going. Like this gentleman with all his, his bag of shark's teeth. That keeps us on the lookout, makes us want to find something. She's got her bag, so she's on the hunt. Tiny little coquina shells. I've seen that purple on the inside of it. That's pretty. Like we showed you a few moments ago, mostly just arcs and oysters. Here's a pretty orange clam, part of it anyway, broken. Ooh, pretty sea oats and the turtle's nest like Oliver was showing you. These turtles have come up here and laid lots and lots of eggs all down at Edisto, I see. That's awesome. See y'all, wish these little turtles good luck. Their survival rate is very low as these little turtles are predators are the prey i guess for lots of these big predators birds and other animals of the sea love them i'm just looking along this bank here thinking that during that storm we had last night something may have washed out of this bank although since it's midday for these serious hunters on this beach they've probably already walked down it Oh, look at there. Spotted one. So would you have seen that, guys? <laughs> it is a tiny one, but it is a shark's tooth. First one for us for the day.
and Edisto is pretty tricky. There are tons and tons of things that look like shark's teeth on the beach. Lots and lots of, of little broken pieces of shells. So all these little black shimmery pieces will make you think that they are shark's teeth. But nope, fool you again. And that little black piece I just picked up, it's, got, it's hard to see because of the sand, but it's very porous. So it's definitely some sort of bone. Definitely, you know, no way to really tell what type or anything, but it's pretty cool. It's cool to see and think about what it could be. We had to walk a little closer to the water and get our feet wet again, because it is hot. There's a little shell pile here. through these broken ones. Oh, I see a little tiny one. The roots are broken off of it. Woo, that feels good. The little piggies in the water. Believe how she is today. And it looks so blue out there from the reflection of that light. Yeah, a lot bluer, greener, aqua color than usual. Usually the beaches off the South Carolina coast are like dingy brown, dirty looking. And you can look out here, it's a very greenish color, like an aqua blue. Very pretty. And the reason being that our beaches usually stay that dirty looking is because we have a lot of freshwater rivers that flow into our coastal areas that leave the sediment from leaves and debris decomposing. Oliver spotted something really big five hole keyhole sand dollar and it is deceased because most of the little things on the top are gone i take moving? that back yes yeah, some of the little filia on this back side is moving so i'm going to put him back in the water but his whole top part is almost completely bald which is kind of crazy but but i have seen sand dollars that are like broken into little pieces and that piece still be alive so i don't know if it can regenerate or not but i'm going to put it out in the water and i'm gonna walk out a little bit so i can get it put it back in the water a little deeper that way it's got at least a little bit of a chance of not washing back up on the beach it has already been low tide and the tide is coming back in so maybe and the, and the one reason to put the sand dollars back when you find them alive is because they actually help with erosion oliver's I think he spotted something up there he's in that sheller's stoop or the shark tooth hunter stoop Seen anything, Oliver? Did you find one up there? I did. Look at the orange colors in that oyster shell. That's pretty. So I see this right here. A little whelk. And I gathered a few other little things to show you guys. Pretty oyster right here. A dystocenia. A blue mussel. And a pretty little knob whelk. It's been through some days. It's got lots of boring holes in it and bristle worm markings. So, pretty pretty. 
look at the gradual slope of this beach guys it's probably almost a hundred yards from the low tide line up to the high tide line and typically from what we've seen by adventuring out on some of the beaches is that areas like this with that little bit of slope to it gradual slope it has a tendency to get more shells washed up on it and you can start to see down through here all the shells and stuff that's washed up through here but there is a lot of people that's venturing down this beach to come out here and look and most of the stuff that's getting left behind is actually just broken pieces or oyster shells just the common stuff that um there's not many people picking that up i see a razor clam this is something that's pretty common here it's something different that we haven't shown today one of the shorebirds the sandpiper or there's the crown off of a little knob welt right there all right and how about that right there the broken part of the pear wilt and a broken part of the olive shell so there's hope we're seeing some pieces inside skeleton of the wilt and there's a pretty pretty jingle right there pretty color with a broken wilt is broken beautiful sometimes it is we've accumulated so much we don't pick up and keep a lot of the broken shells we have at times and we have plenty in our collection but tried to get a lot more um conservative with our shells that we that we keep a little oyster is that an oyster it is but there's a pretty jingle right here beside it oh and it was broken already you see how fragile they are yeah there's a lot more to look through down in this area and just like most beaches guys it's, it's probably better to come here as far as actually collecting the shells when there's less people so in some areas like in florida the winter time is really really their busy season because they get so many snowbirds and people traveling from the cold temperatures to get out of those and they go down to those places like florida and the caribbean so they can be in those warm temperatures whereas here our busy season is the summertime these places are packed during anytime it's out of school from may to september whereas all during the winter these beaches are pretty empty so that would be the best time to come out here and shell probably is during the winter time and i am sorry for talking like i got those sunflower seeds or something in my mouth but i do have my two little tiny shark teeth in there so i was trying not to swallow them while i talk I think I'm going to keep this little broken shell as a reminder that broken is beautiful. I thought I saw a wilt, but it fooled me. It was just a point. Wow, is that a broken piece of an olive right there? It is. Imagine if that there wasn't broken, guys. That would have been a huge one. That thing would have been three, three and a half inches long, probably. Definitely bigger around, more bigger around than your finger. Oh, definitely. My finger fits inside of it easily. There's a broken well right here. That's what that sharp thing was. A little skeleton is what we call it. Another. The tornado? Yep. And I still hadn't seen the first sharks too, besides the ones that she's found and the one that the guy showed us. 
Another broken wheel. It's broken. Cool. That's the best way to get around here. Yeah, this is quite a walk. What do you think that is? All the way back to the pavilion where we started. I'm guessing back to the pavilion where we at right now. We've come at least a mile. Look at that big oyster shell there. Huge one. That's a colossal one. That would be a really pretty one for they doing all these crafts with, with the oysters where they're decoupaging the napkins and the paper into it and painting the edges gold. That would be really pretty. Definitely. Lots of whelk skeletons because I've been seeing about five more since the ones we showed to you just then. Yeah, everybody's done picked up the whole ones, I imagine. Look at that olive. Yeah, that one's pretty. Looks like it's all. Oh, that is a whole one. Yeah, it is. It's That's got a one nice little find. hole in the back, a boring hole. That's still a nice find. And the tip's broken. Considering how many people's probably walked across it. And look here, another. Two you, totally different colors, too. And these are the lettered olives. You can South see. Carolina State Shell, right? That's right, and you can see the little imprints on it that looks like the letters, the M's or the W's, depending on the way you're looking at it. And there is shells stuffed inside these cracks, so you know there's no living animal in there. Two cool finds right there beside each other. I'm going to put them in your pocket. Another little broken wilt. You want it? I don't. I've been trying to control myself. Control my habit. Oh, now this one's going to be a keeper. Oh, that's cool. I bent down to pick up this olive right here to add it to the pocket, but that one is a beauty. That is a pretty little fella there. Points are a little rubbed off and broken, but gorgeous colors. And no one's home, so he's a keeper for us. Put my broken one in here too. Ooh. Another? Another. Uh oh. Uh. Ooh, drop me. Or just add him to his twin in here. Let okay. See. Let me see. It looks like oh, I'm that gonna be a bigger. Looks like I'm gonna be toting some extra weight back Ooh. to the car today. Look how pretty. Cute, cute. That one's almost like yellowish with the stripes. Nice. And man, the inlet has people on both sides of it over here. up a few more things a little battered and bruised olive but it is whole a little black knob welt tilts broken off and look at the size of this shark eye that's pretty neat and we've hit this area just by coincidence almost right at the right time it's um dead low tide looks to be or it may be just now coming in a little bit great time to come here i can see people they're actually crossing the inlet and everything down in this area
might be a good set of like brass knuckles if you needed them somewhere. I hope we don't need no I brass hope, knuckles. I hope not, but that's what it reminds me of. Would this be, could be considered like a shellless paradise? I believe so, because especially if you were into tinies, I feel sure you could search through a lot of this and find as many tinies as you, could, as you would want to ever take home. And there's not every beach that you travel to that's going to have this many shells. No, we have gone to beaches that have nothing. Leave it in the comments. How does your beach look? Is it full of shells like this? run across a gentleman and he's going to share some of his uh, finds with us. Shark teeth. Oh yeah, some pretty ones. Are you familiar with the different types? Uh, not a whole lot. I, I believe these long ones here may be sand, uh, sand sharks right here, but I, I could be wrong. But you can see the little cusps on either side of a couple of these. Like little tiny. Yeah, those are our favorite ones too. Yeah. They're pretty. But I, I found them right here, and my son found a couple, you know, a few too. Okay. Well, you're, we're, we're not experts. <laughs> right? Right. You're like us. We're just collectors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just kind of looking, and we are trying to get here earlier, but um, it took us a while to, I mean, we drove about an hour and a half to get over here. Right. We did too. About, oh, you did. We drove about two hours. Yeah. So we were hoping to get here, like, way before the tide started coming in. But um, I, I, we found a lot just right here. Well, I was just standing there laying the waves. Try to clean the slate and then wow. come back. Okay. And I don't know. It seemed to be working okay, but yeah. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. See there, you don't let her, one? you don't let her come here and get me. <laughs> <laughs> we must be good luck. She's she's got the eye for it. We just, I was, he was distracting me while I was looking. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good strategy. It's good to have fun with people out on the beach, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it's like... I feel like you can spot a leaf here. Yeah. It's kind of like a life lesson, too. Yeah. Let me clean the slate, throw it over. That's right. You're exactly right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Found another one. It was laying right here on this side of the sand. A little different one. So I'm up to a total of four. Got two right there. One, two, three, four. Look at there. Just the roots off of one. So the whole tip is broken. But that is the roots off of one. I can see the little layers of enamel on the back there. I know it's probably hard to see on camera. So I always like to look in the edge of the water if I can. I feel like to me they stand out a little more. I can pick them out a little better off the edge of the water. Maybe it's the glistening off of them, the wetness.
a pin shell. It looks like a piece of it had broken off from right here. And Oliver's holding up something. Let's go check out what he's got. On the way, there's a cockle. Look at the size of this owl. Oh, that one's big. Wow. The tip is broken out, but that is huge. Huge in diameter, too. Yeah, it is. That's a two finger owl there. Yeah. Steph and I, we truly appreciate you guys asking if you like videos like this and content like this to. Give us a like. If you don't mind, hit the subscribe. Come with us on some of our other videos, right, Steph? That's right. We love to go out on or near the water as often as possible. So All if the like time, go, guys. Come on with us. We're crabbing. We're fishing. We're shrimp trawling. We're exploring yeah. the beaches. Trying to share positive information with you guys. Like somebody left their little broken collection up here. Yeah, these are not our finds. Well, I guess they are. They left them. But here's some of the other broken welts and stuff that you might see if you decide to venture here. Somebody had a little cool sand art here. They drew a web and a heart. Just like we heart you guys. Make sure you give us a like. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Come along with us on our adventures not only on youtube but on facebook and we sure appreciate you guys that join our patreon page to help us continue to bring these channels to youtube where we get to go out and explore these areas oh look right here man that one's so worn that all the marking is almost off of it Another Almost. one of the beautiful olives, right? Look at it in comparison. That's a pretty big olive shell, but look at that. Golly. Another jingle. Another jingle. I like these that are just colored like that. Not the blacks. The blacks are really common here, but I love these other colors. And a suggestion for you guys or you ladies out there. If you got tender feet, you might want to wear some shoes if you come down this beach. this was interesting it's an oyster shell but it's got those blue and white stripes in it but look how thick it is oh that's pretty and it's got a little hole a pitic hole in it 